Hey, let's take a little trip to Cabela's. I wanted to look at more knives. Oh, look at these. Uh, GPS and signaling, personal signal, location devices, GPSs. To me, I don't know why anyone who really goes to remote areas would not have one of these location devices so people can find them. They do have some subscriptions, but use them once. They're more than worth it. And it's funny, I'm looking at these and I'm noticing they have no more knives. I even ask and no, they don't carry more. They got plenty of other things. They've got some of the, uh, you know, US Marine type knives, K-Bar, they get all kinds of things. Hey, there's a Tommyhawk. Some, someone was talking about one of those on a video I watched, it was quite interesting. But they kind of don't have the right thing that I wanted to see. Now, I'm not saying anything is bad about any of these knives, but I just thought it was odd that Cabela doesn't carry more of us. Seems like they carry everything out. Look at this nice selection of Leatherman tools they have. They got quite a bit of them. I have the Leatherman Wave Plus. It was between that and the signal. And I went for the Wave Plus because it's quite a bit lighter. And honestly, I like the idea of having a complete straight edge blade and having the serration on another blade. Now, someone else might see that not an issue and might want to pick up the idea of having a whistle, a uh, <coughs> ferro rod, a sharpener built right in to the tool, which the signal does. And it's also got a, you can kind of use it as somewhat as a hammer or pommel as well. But of course, it's quite a bit high, heavier too. So I think the Wave Plus is great for something a little more discreet. You can wear on your, your belt. You don't even notice it's there, at least in Maine. No one would think anything of you carrying a Leatherman. That's so many people do it. It's just pretty well accepted. So, oh, just here's some of the binoculars and things they have. So I guess I'm going to look over. Another thing I'm interested in, too, is I want a compass that I can set the magnetic declination for my area, which is Maine. And uh, the compasses I have, I can't do that with. So we're going to take a look over the other side of the store here. Eventually. Oh, let's look at some other things. Here's the Swiss Army knives. These are nice. Talk about if you're fine with something a little bit smaller. These are really nice as far as pocketability. Especially the smaller ones go in your pocket again. Uh, you don't even feel it there. There, some of the larger ones, uh, I wouldn't want them in my pocket. I think I would either want a pocket clip or a case. And I'm sure probably most of these you can get a case, either from Swiss Army Knives or an aftermarket case. Here's Gerber. Uh, here's this little, little multi-tool. It's a pry bar and a few other things. Ten dollars. I'm looking at this. And uh, I'm thinking about it. So, <laughs> look at all the different styles they have of tools, knives, folders, straight edge. Ah, uh, here's a fairly beastie type knife, kind of after the uh, the idea of a survival knife. Uh, military survival knife, kind of that same styling. It's got a case with it and everything. And now it's only $39.95. But I don't want a knife that big. Again, once you go to something that big, it really limits how you can carry it, where you can carry it. it looks, oh, here's uh, cast iron cookbooks. And here's some of the actual uh, cast iron things that they have. They have a, a 
grill type attachment for these uh, Dutch ovens. I've never seen that before. Okay, now we're over here with some more survival stuff. We've got sporks, forks, uh, stoves, canisters to run the stoves, egg containers, toaster thingies, survival calend candles. Uh, you know, tea candles are really poor for any type of survival use because once you light them, the, the paraffin all melts. And so once you spill it over, that's going to be a big mess. It could be a dangerous mess. So I would say that you don't want to have that. Oh, here's the candles. That, here's the compasses. So not this lower price one, but the other one starting at uh, 29 and up have uh, magnetic declination adjustments. So uh, they've got one that's either a home. I'm looking at this other fire starter now. You can see I got that Gerber thing in my hand, but I'm weakening. I think I'm going to change because I got a big ferro rod on my keychain. That's kind of a little too big. I'm looking at this and thinking, gee, I could set that aside in something else and have the smaller one in my pocket. And I think I'm going to go for it. I think that would be a good idea. Well, and here we have some first aid kits too, but I guess I saw what I needed to see. I couldn't find a more knife. I did find some compasses that would suit what I'm interested in. And uh, there's that little striker I got and ferro rod to put on my key ring to replace something that's bigger and gommier. Bye.